let's head down to the coin toss. It is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ingram's mental toughness makes him difficult to rattle when he's on the road. And here he is now, Kirk, taking the field for the first time today. Let's see how he does. And not only does this guy not get rattled, but he's also a guy that seems to have an uncanny ability to quiet a crowd by making such big plays. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled at the third. Makes it to the 44. Gives it left side. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 45-yard line. When you're running the... First and 10. Ball on the 13. Tackle at the 4-yard line. Play of this drive. That brings up second and one. He's in for the touchdown. They can't hold the coach. Oh, let's go. And he hits the PAT. A long 15 play, 75 yard, the first drive of the game. Ready? Blue 45. Cut. He's got his man across the middle. He's tackled at about the 49. Good job by the offense. We're going 25 to Mike. Today. Three nine, green it. He airs it out. And it's caught. He's taken down around the one yard line. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other. And you can see it in the way he threw that pass. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He flicked his wrist and made the connection to his wide receiver. It looked to me that the defense was more worried about the quarterback scrambling, and that's why they just gave up that touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. And he hits him hard at the 24. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. And I'll tell you what, not only was this great penetration, but it was a heck of a hit, too. Down around the 20-yard line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. Let's go, D, let's go. Let's get And he's taken down at the 10-yard line. That'll bring up 36. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Black five, black five, three nine. Three to go. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Kicks away. And it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. <laughs> Quick throw, picked off. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. Good 
job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane. It's up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Malone is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 23-yard line. Ingram's struggles here in the first half seem to have also impacted the entire team, and you would expect that, I guess, Herbie. They're really having a difficult time getting anything going now as we head into halftime. I mean, you hate to put everything on one guy. It has put all the pressure on his shoulders. But in this case, it's clear to me that without him leading the way, that this football team is just lost. And I think the coaching staff has got to be concerned. There's still a whole other second half to be played. But what kind of adjustments can they make to be able to make some changes here to the results here of this football game in the second half? He scrambled. Lost the ball. Fumble. It's picked up. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. They find him. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's got the touchdown. So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. A nine-play, 80-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time... Pressured and brought down. He sails it long. And he got it! And down he goes at the 17-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10.
block. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's under pressure. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just could From the 13-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill here the clock. Go, here we go. Yellow three. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. So that's going to do it. The Trojans with the victory. 20 to 14.